The price of two EpiPens used to cost just a little bit more than $100. That was in 2009. Now it costs more than $600. EpiPens are used to treat certain allergies, but even though the actual drug inside the EpiPen only costs a couple of bucks, experts say the manufacturer essentially has a monopoly on that product. Name EpiPen. It's like Kleenex to allergists. Are you fearful the price could continue to go up? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Prices are based on competition, and there's no competition. Now, the manufacturer says the EpiPen's price changed to better reflect important product features. In California, schools are required by law to have EpiPens on hand just in case a child has a severe allergic reaction. So, how are California schools now dealing with this big price hike? CBS 13's Kelly Ryan is live now in Carmichael getting answers. Kelly? The drug maker pushed legislators to have these pens mandated on campus. And for now, schools aren't worried about footing the bill. Surface. You just push in and hold, and that's all you have to do. That's all you have to do if you're suffering an allergic reaction and you're using an EpiPen. Even if you don't need one to treat an emergency allergic reaction, it's likely you've heard of EpiPen. The pharmaceutical company Mylan put out commercials strengthening the brand name, and with little to no competition, the price has soared. The company that bought the rights to it basically has gone and made it from a $50 per pen device into a $300 per pen device. Sacramento family practice physician Dr. Eric Tepper says people are being forced to make choices. I have patients every day who complain to me that says, you know, doc, I know I need this. I can see it. I can't afford it. A state law went into effect January 1st, 2015, requiring schools to have EpiPens on hand. So with its steep increase in price, how are schools able to afford that? EpiPens are provided for free by the manufacturer. The San Juan Unified School District is one of many districts that receives pens each year. We have about 60 schools, so 240 EpiPens a year. The pens have a fairly short expiration date, so the school gets a fresh shipment every year. Good for the schools and the kids who need it there, but expensive for parents supplying it at home. If a doctor recommends that you purchase an EpiPen for your child, what parent is going to say, well, what's the, if I don't do it, what's going to happen, doc? And if the answer to that is potentially death, what parent isn't going to try to do that? And if you think it's easy for a competitor to just jump on in to decrease the price, well, it costs hundreds of millions of dollars to get approved by the FDA. And, and so many analysts, Kelly, say that's why our health care costs are going through the roof. There's not enough competition, not in the products, not in the insurance industry. We just have to open up this marketplace for more competition. Okay, interesting that's report. That's exactly right. Right. But it's hard to do when it's so expensive. It is. It is. I get it. I know. It's a tough one to figure out. Thanks a lot for that. Kelly Ryan, live for us.